Come on. Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Yo. And we got a special guest in the building right now. Our guy, Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy uh, Q. Up? What up? O- Oxymoron's finally almost here, right? Man, what, six days? Word. How you feeling? Um, I'm cool right now. I'm at a seven. Well, probably an eight now. Eight? Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> this is I'll eight. be a 10 I'll be a 10 probably like the day before now everybody always says that you know their first album they was working on it their whole life is it the same for you? no <laughs> um, I was <laughs> working on life. it for two years <laughs> just two years word yeah now um I saw recently that they're supposedly gonna be doing a movie based on Top Dog mm-hmm. allegedly supposedly I saw this is there any truth to that cause I figured you would know about it cause you'd be in it um I don't know. I haven't got the script. <laughs> All right, nobody told me who's going to be playing me. So I, I think it's more like a, a documentary. They said it's going to be called Good Kid, Mad City. Oh, okay. That's, that sounds that sound like it could be true. With Spike I know, Lee. I know some other stuff was supposed to mm-hmm. happen, but I don't know for sure. Y'all I'm young sure guys, though. You think y'all ready for a movie yet? The story, oh, the story still sure. being written. Yeah, of course. that I'm, I wouldn't I wouldn't care for it, you know what I mean? But, I mean, you know, some, just on some regular acting stuff, I'd be with that, though. Word. Now let's talk about your album. Now it's been a lot about your album and the sales. They're saying that the sales surpass anything that anybody would have ever thought. Mm-hmm. I, I think that uh, the label was late getting behind you. Did and you, it was number one pre-order on iTunes. Yeah, the number one pre-order on iTunes. Did you, did, right did you feel now. like the label was a little late with that? Nah, they, honestly, I never pushed the album back. I never put a date out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I never really pushed it back. It was just me. Just kept saying fourth quarter, third quarter. You know what I'm saying? I just kept saying this quarter and everybody was expecting it, but I never turned my album into him until like three weeks ago. So why so, you took 50 Cent off the album, man? Um, what happened, man? Nah, I remember the last time like, you was here, you was telling us that you wanted to do a record man, with 50 him. 50 Cent is like the reason I'm rapping. Like, yeah. it's nothing like that. Like, it just didn't fit in my album. Mm-hmm. It was whack? Nah, it's hard. People still gonna hear it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always want to shoot a video to it, but. I just didn't want to put it on my album. I got a lot of features already too. Did you tell him beforehand? Cause he was tweeting about I'm on Schoolboy Q. Nah, album. nah. I thought he, I thought he would know. Mm. I mean, he didn't expect <laughs> not to make the album. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm new to this dog. I, I guess I should have hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, my bad, man. My bad. I don't know. No. Now they said that your listening session the other night, man. You said you was hoping the Mayan calendar was correct. Like you was hoping, the end, <laughs> you was hoping the end of the world came uh, in 2012. When I was doing bad, man. This was a long time ago. You know what I mean? A few years back. Two like, years ago. <laughs> long, <laughs> three years ago. No, I'm talking ago. about a long time ago when I had that feeling. Okay, I was okay. thinking like, it was like around 2010, 2009. Um, I was like, man, I only got three more years left for this grind. <laughs> and be, we all going to be straight. You know what I'm saying? That's but, when you live like every day is your last. Yeah, but Yo-ho. I ended up getting on in 2011. though. So that's what changed you. When you got on, you was like, okay, I got something to live for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 2012. But you got a baby. Don't tell all you get it. Yeah, she four right now. She'll be five. Right? She's the one that actually announced the album release date. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on. So the the baby didn't give you nothing to live for, but the rap game did. Man, I was doing bad, bro. Like I couldn't get a dollar. Like, Damn. I'm talking about crazy. It was mm-hmm. crazy, crazy, crazy. When people say when you say you were doing bad, like how bad is bad? Yeah. How... Like no place to sleep, bad. Bouncing around from homie house to house. Like mm-hmm. standing outside of Roscoe's with a cup. Getting nah, changed, nah, not like oh. that. I ain't never gonna go that grimy. I just suck it up and just go to my mom's house like, mom, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you always did have a place you could have went to I your could have went, house. but I wasn't trying to do that. It was your pride. Yeah, yeah. And so I was bouncing around homie house to house. Mm-hmm. And, um, People was kicking you out like, all right, man. Nah, I would, just, I would never stay there long enough. I would just always bounce around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then one day it just got tiring. Then I just got on with rapping, got a deal, and it was over. Sometimes they always say you got to put yourself with your back against the wall to finally make things happen the way you need it to happen. Um, uh, I wouldn't say my situation was like that. Um, I was just doing bad because I was stupid mm-hmm. more than anything. Not like, you know, I was trying lazy? to like thug it out. Yeah, I was all that. Lazy, <laughs> one, he's always wanted, didn't want to miss nothing. Mm-hmm. Always wanted to be with the homies. You so what got you motivated? Um, TDE. When I got over there to TDE. They motivated me, you know. I was Kendrick Hype man, and I saw it keep growing. Mm-hmm. You know, like he was having like thirty people at the show. Then next time we do a show, it's a hundred people. Then from a hundred to two hundred, and so on and so on. Now yeah. it's sold out. 
You know what I'm saying? It just motivated me. Like, I'm going to really do this next project. I'm going to really, really do it. What's your relationship with Kendrick now? Ah, you told me to get off the throne. You tell him enough's enough. <laughs> nah, let me just be talking. You know, I just be talking shit, but that's my brother, man. Mm-hmm. You still think he's whack? Nah. <laughs> I never really. He's I the know, best rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he the best rapper, man. Hands down. That's a cold. Like, you can't, can't nobody. How did you end up as his hype man to begin with? Um, That was like top, and I think his idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I was with, because I was always like the, the dude that had the like charisma and like I was always the people friendly dude like you know say jokes and the funny one you know yeah and that just gave me the mic like here be the hype man you know what I mean top top agree with it I took me on the road and I was ah, 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 was you rapping ah. before that yeah I was trying but I wasn't really serious you went gotcha. that motivated yeah like just... 2000 2011 2010 and 11 is when. I was like starting to get into that mode of really, like this is what I'm gonna do. Did anybody ghost right for you? Like the kids nah, to hit never, some ball to get never, started? Never, never. Um, Soul wrote a hook though. Um, Phenomenon. I didn't say it though, but Soul wrote that hook. That was about it. Now you said at your listening session also that your grandma is the one who gave you your first gun or showed you the fir- your first gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She showed me my first one, mm-hmm. but that's not nothing like. That was just something I put in the song. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, that's tight. That type of is cool to say on the record. You know what I mean? On the yeah. song. But, like, actually talking about it sounds, like, real stupid to me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not really, though. I mean. But, yeah, she used to, um, yeah, that's, it sounds so stupid. But, yeah, she used to, like, take her clip out and shit and, like, let me, like, be in the living room. What would she tell you, though? Like, are you going to need this to protect yourself? Or? No, she just gave it to me, like. She's crazy. She's crazy. Yeah, that's my grandma. Now, I love her. Now, you also said you wanted to get somebody from Wu-Tang on the album. You ended yeah. up getting Raekwon because you ran into him. Who was your favorite member of Wu-Tang? Raekwon and Raekwon. Ghostface. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostface my favorite MC of all time. Oh, man. You watch Couples Therapy? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I don't really watch too much TV these days. I've been doing a lot of moving around. You used to, though. Um, Yeah, I used to watch, like, I, well, I watch, like, TV series and stuff like that. Like what? what? I mean? Like like, I was watching Breaking Bad. I watched, uh, you know, funny stuff like Workaholics. I watched a little bit of Walking Dead. I fell off this last season. Mm. Um, you know, a few mm. things. You can Eastbound watch, and you Down. Should watch, oh, yeah, I love Eastbound and Down. You should watch Girls. That's me and Charlamagne's show. Girls mm-hmm. is dope. Charlamagne loves that show. Oh, man. Dope show. A lot of drug use. <laughs> a lot of sex. <laughs> a lot of orgies. So what, what exactly is the oxymoron you're referring to? Um, bad equals good, you know? Like, mm-hmm. All the bad I'm doing to do good by my daughter, that was like my goal back then, but I was never really accomplishing it. Right. You know, and that's what, that's why you hear a lot of the recklessness on this album. Well, you haven't really heard it, but it's a lot of reckless shit on this album. Because I was always thinking I was doing the right thing, but I knew deep down I really wasn't. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I was, that was my excuse, like, I'm going to do this to look out for her, but wasn't nothing really cracking like that. I was just making an excuse, you know? Is it hard for you to be like a street artist uh, on, on TDE? Because they don't have like the reputation of being street artists. Like, you know, y'all call no. yourself black hippies or I mean, whatever. I mean, Top Dog is pretty street. I mean, yeah, but people I don't know so. Top. Like, Ken, when people <laughs> and think, J-Rock is pretty street. But they don't, yeah, when people I think, think so. TDE, they think Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. Kendrick isn't a street artist. Um, I don't know. Shit, I'm fly as fuck, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't identify with the average street. You know what I'm saying, but I, think the I am, I big. am, I am a street. Nigga, you know what I'm saying, but I don't identify with the rest of the that's still trying to act like they still in the streets. Like I ain't in the street no more. Like I rap. Right. I'm in New York right now. You know what I mean. You got so. a chick in New York because you you in New York a lot. You got a no. chick in New York. <laughs> I see you have soul out here. Like, I don't yeah. really see you. I see soul yeah, floating soul, around. Soul you always popping up in New York. <laughs> soul got a little spot out here. <laughs> <laughs> he's working. Okay, he's yeah. always in New York. Every time I look up, he's in New York. I'm like, what right. about? Did they talk to you about like drinking and smoking? Because I was at All Star Weekend and I seen um, Kendrick and Top Dog, and I, I was making fun of them. I said, "Y'all got a table full of water and wings. Yeah. They don't really drink or anything." Yeah. But do they ever talk to you about that? Like, come on, man, you gotta, you know. Yeah, I don't really drink though, mm-hmm. but um, I smoke weed. Now, nobody never told me not to smoke weed. When I came over there, I was smoking weed, so they know. Right. Like this is. That's that's me. You know, I'm not pump fake it. I didn't just start smoking with them just because it's cool. You know, right. I got over there. Like, they already knew. Right. So they accepted. 
No, because sometimes I think about how, like, Top Dog said he had to lock J-Rock up and not let him, you know what I'm saying? To try yeah, to yeah, 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 that's different. J- J-Rock was from the projects. It's a little different from where I grew up, you know? Mm-hmm. And you saying J-Rock is an animal? They had to lock him up? <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> the projects is a lot different, you yeah. know? Like, it's, it's more gutter than a lot of other different, you know, you go to the projects out here or wherever you go, it's always, the, like, kind of the worst environment to grow up in, you know? But, um... Top was with J-Rock for a lot longer than me. Like, when J-Rock was real young, I came over there when I was 21 already. Mm-hmm. I was pretty much already You're set in life. It was just like, you know, do your music. If it's dope, situation come, we gonna fuck with you. If not, get the fuck up out of here, you know? But I made a situation for myself, and they fucked with me. Now, how involved is everybody as far as with the Oxymoron album, with choosing what goes on the album? Do you listen to the feedback from everyone? Like, nah, I like this song, put this on, that's whack. Um, How does that work? Yeah, I, I get, I get, I did had a lot of feedback from it, like from the homies. It's too long, or that's not, you know, you should take that hook off, or just put the bridge, or whatever, you know. What I'm you saying? ever get offended? Like, who are you to tell me? Of course, you always <laughs> get offended, especially when they tell you something about one that you really like. <laughs> you know what I mean? You always get offended, but you need to hear it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I don't say nothing to them, like like lash out at them or nothing like what you talking about i right. just take it with me like yeah mm-hmm. how competitive tripping. how competitive is the tde environment real competitive Rashad told us when he was here that um <laughs> when he did the bet cypher he wanted to change his verse oh uh, yeah yeah. It but was, it was too late yeah it's real competitive um i mean i'm not like the i mean i don't do like the 80 bar rap like i ain't like that type of i spit i stay in my lane i do me you know i spit street shit. I spit fun, you know what I'm saying? I tell you about my emotions and how bad I'm doing and shit like that. I like to stay in my category. Stop saying you're doing bad, man. You ain't doing bad. No, no, no. You no, were no. doing I'm saying, bad. Like, when I was. Yeah, there. that's what I'm saying. When I was, I'm definitely doing good. But mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, you know, I still have to talk about that. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's what this whole album was about. Mm-hmm. All past, like, this is not my life now. I ain't on this in the set hanging with the homies no more. I ain't. Oh yeah, you know that's what, what I meant like, when I no, said, no. you know, people always say their first album took their whole life to write. Yeah, Cause it's yeah. all your experiences you've been through into your nah, first album. Nah, I started rapping late, so it only took me two years. <laughs> 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 It has to be very motivational for other people, though, to see somebody like yourself, Schoolboy Q, who uh-huh. for a period of time you felt like you were doing bad, nothing was going to pop off for you, and then now look at you, number one pre-order on iTunes. They're saying your album's one of the most anticipated albums of the year. Yeah. You know, so I'm sure Crazy. other people look at you. and Because there's other people, I think most artists, before their first album comes out or before they get a record deal or anything, they feel like at some point giving up. Yeah. Um. I just, I just want to hit now. Like, I just need a... <laughs> nah, I mean like, you don't. I, mean, I just want to hit record nah, one time. I love that like, fact. I love you the came fact through that you with the hit. A, a quote unquote radio <laughs> record. You don't think you, you can figure? make one, man? Nah, yeah, <laughs> I know for sure. Yeah. But you don't I need thought it. I made some this time. It, then go platinum, though. You don't I need it, yet, though. You don't need it, though. You, you know don't need a quote unquote radio record. Nah, I don't, but I want one. Why not? Let me get it. Can I throw your boy a hit hey, one yeah, time? Don't listen to Envy. You need a hit now. He don't. Tell no. Kanye to throw your boy a hit <laughs> no, one time. I don't He's think Kanye's going to listen to Charlamagne. Oh, no. That's what I told him. That's why I'm teasing no, him. Tell him Q, Q, Q got a good brand. People know who he is. And I'm going to get his album. And people probably still get his album. He do need a hit now. Come on. Nah, yeah, yeah, you know what? You have so, you had songs that hit. I felt like could have been big hits on the radio. Yeah, but them <laughs> wasn't hits. <laughs> <laughs> I respect yeah. the honesty. Do you remember the first time you heard your song on the radio? Yeah, Hands on the Wheel. You know what I mean? I heard that a lot on the radio. But... That's your biggest record to date, right? Nah, Kyle Green. Kyle Green's definitely. Oh, right, and I right, felt right, like yeah. that was a big song. But I think that's just, ra- see, I, that's just radio play and sales, but I think Hands on the Wheel had more impact in the streets. I mean, that was because it was like the introduction to me. Mm-hmm. Kyle Green's just like, you already knew who I was now, so you feel a little bit. You get what I'm saying? All right. See, but, but I, I yeah. think you don't need it. All these artists with nah, you have a core yeah. following, which is more important than anybody out there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You could always tour, always put out records, always put out albums, EPs, mixtapes, and you have that core following support you. There's a lot of dudes that have hits, yeah. and they only have that hit. That's yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yes, ain't nothing that wrong hit, with that either. That I ain't that how big you money. get it. However, <laughs> I'm just saying, let your boy get a hit one time. <laughs> so I just you want are, one hit. You are going on a tour, though. Yeah, and this yeah. this is your tour. Yeah, that's one thing these other though can't mm-hmm. do like me though I'll that's be, a big deal yeah, they got yeah, you got yeah, yeah, followers yeah for sure and that's why I respect my fans and that's why I go so hard like I don't care if I'm bending over and I can't breathe on stage and I pass out get that 
put it on camera, send it to Real Star. <laughs> I got it first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I go hard for my fans. Like, I love my fans. Like, because they really go hard for me. It's not like no, they didn't give a fuck about no radio single, none of that. Soon as shit went out. As soon as the day came out, everybody went crazy and supported it. Mm -hmm. And that's why no matter what, if I can't take a picture with a fan, I have to tell them, look them in the eyes, you feel me? Take my glasses off and tell them I'm sorry. You get what I'm saying? Like, I do that type of shit because, you know, like, I feel like me ain't supposed to be in the position I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like, real talk. Oh Need to make hits. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, also with the I didn't do it, and the homies still supported me, and I and I still drop good music, you know what I mean, and I'm still gonna drop that top notch that's gonna compete with whoever's out there, you know what I'm saying? Where was Without you? the hit, but I would definitely uh, have a hit. Where were you and uh, did y'all watch the Grammys together as a collective? Nah, them was at the Grammys. I was like playing the Call of Duty or some. Were you uh, <laughs> were you uh, like disappointed that he didn't win the Grammy? Or did yeah, you... yeah, yeah. I was just looking at tweets, you know what I yeah. mean? And everybody was just saying I didn't watch it. And then I was hot, you know. I put some tweets out there and stuff, like, but that shit was stupid. How'd you feel about Macklemore's uh, Instagram text? Uh, well, he put the uh, put him in Kendrick's uh, conversation. Kendrick, yeah. <laughs> uh, Macklemore is my homie, you know what I mean? But I mean, hey, whatever. that was whack. It's not really his Macklemore's fault. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not. I can't get into that. That's my homie. I can't mm -hmm. bad mouth him. Have y'all talked about it? Have you seen him since? Uh, called him? No, no, no. We haven't talked since. But I um, know I talked to him afterwards. We talked after the Grammys. Macklemore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. So on your tour, you have Isaiah Rashad going with you. Yeah, and Vince Staples, my homie from Long Beach. Young dude coming up. All right. You, Isaiah Rashad was actually up here and said that you were the one um, that he was closest with, I guess, in TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm the you know what I'm saying? I look old as you know what I mean? You do got all the soul. I got the, all the weed all the time. Yeah. Everybody the like, for, I'm, I'm the cool one. You know what I'm saying? You need some bud, I'm going to give it to you. You mm -hmm. need some whatever you need, I'm going to give it to you. Right. I embrace like whoever comes. You think you ever change your name from schoolboy to OG or something? OGQ? <laughs> Fat school boy, boy Q or some <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I doubt it. But hopefully, I mean, they got the new Q now. I can't just use Q no more. Oh, no, no disrespect you know to him, saying? but his, his song is way bigger than him. <laughs> I, I, I just realized what his name was. You bet you don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah, Q. OG Bobby Johnson. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. thought his name was OG Bobby Johnson. I f with that song, <laughs> oh, He's saying a song about himself. <laughs> what, yeah. is the, what did your Q stand for anyway? Quincy. Quincy, all right, okay. <laughs> we think that like means something like some Superman or some shit. Like, <laughs> like, Schoolboy Quincy. Quincy <laughs> 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 and we look forward to hearing your album, man. And what's your expectations for the album, man? Um, young, high. young dude from the streets of California. What high. are your expectations? Hi, I'm gonna get on everybody. I did it. You wanna yeah. go gold, platinum? Ah, yeah, I'm gonna do all that. Well, it's, so, looking, it's looking good. <laughs> yeah, Which song um, you think is gonna be the hit that's gonna get the radio play? Ah, damn, I don't know. I got a two more on there that can probably <laughs> work for me. <laughs> I got two more that can probably work for me. We are gonna see. Two I don't wanna name them yet. <laughs> Bill Chain's got a banger too. I mean, you just filmed that in New Orleans. So you're gonna see. So I'm gonna come through with one. Why? I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna have like four securities in this. Bitch. I ain't even gonna worry about what my album. So I'm like, I got the hit now. So if you want to envy to play one, what would it be? Um, studio and another record, hell of a night, okay. and whatever else I want to play. <laughs> He said, "Play one too." You got to join with Pharrell. Like Pharrell produced joint. The yeah, yeah, nah, Lost nah, Lost nah. That's some gangster. Shit. That's some gangster. Shit. It ain't no, it ain't no. You know what I mean? Single type. Did Pharrell approach shit. you to do a song on the album? Yeah, I, know I was he's very. Man, into. I was so shocked about that. I was going to top. Top had some money for me, and he was like, um, out of nowhere, because you know how like I, I fuck with Pharrell. Like Pharrell was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It kind of like surprised me with it. Like, yo, like. Tomorrow you in the lab with Pharrell. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, Sure he's enough, we got in there, the nigga Pharrell was a fan. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm, so, I'm surprised you didn't meet Pharrell through Mac Miller, though. I, I met Pharrell before. This is the thing. I okay. wasn't cracking, though. <laughs> I was with Kendrick. It was premature. I needed a hit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was with Kendrick. No, Pharrell's the type of person he's going to pick who he wants to work yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. I was with Kendrick. He was Kendrick was uh, cutting a record with one of his artists. And um, I ran into him, shook, shook hands and stuff, but he didn't, you know, he didn't remember. He didn't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. You never fanned out over anybody that you met early um, on? Probably 50. I probably was like, yo, this is really 50 right now. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn, this is 50 Cent. All right, well, I didn't know that was that tall. You give him a call. He said what? After this, you should give him a call and just. Yeah, because he don't oh, yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't trying to. That yeah. be, he be doing this wrong. I don't have the camera outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go see somebody to kidnap my daughter. I, call. I can't. I, ain't, I don't want no problem. You ain't banging no celebrity chicks yet? Uh, y'all asked me that last time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you getting Think closer. Y'all yeah, got an album release date now. Oh, man. I do a lot of things, dog. I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things, <laughs> dog. I'm chilling. Ask Charlamagne if he ever has. You ever had um celebrity? Yes. Tell him to name him. Nope. <laughs> Man, he doing all that. Count, dog. I ain't never touch ye. What? He's a <laughs> Ew. He peeing the street more than everybody, every man in this room. I've been Charlamagne over. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> that's right, right, right. yeah. right. oh, right. right. Schoolboy Q. I'll see you on the installs in six days. That's right. Man, why y'all gotta it, it mention my album after it's bent over? Man. <laughs> trying to get a hit. I make him squeal like a pig. Oh, my goodness. Lord this is the Breakfast Club, Schoolboy Q. <laughs>